Okay, so even better news on uh, the news about Filmstruck being saved. Like, remember how in the last video I said about Filmstruck that, uh, you know, like, I, I don't know what's going to happen with the Criterion channel. Like, I hope, you know, they'll, they'll come back in some new form. Uh, maybe they could go back to Hulu. Maybe they'll they'll stick with Filmstruck when, when Warner Media revives it as whatever they're going to call it. Well, no more than like a few hours after I made that video, uh, I got an email uh, from from Criterion saying that, hey, guess what? We're going to be doing our own independent uh, streaming service. And it's actually going to be coming much sooner uh, than the new Filmstruck will be. It's, it's apparently going to be launching in spring of 2019. Um, and it's and, and they're 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 apparently really excited about this. They've apparently been working on this for a while. Uh, so yeah, if you go to Criterion's website, I actually got this through the, the email, but they'll they'll send you to this page to let you know uh, all about it here, and then they'll direct you over to a page to become a charter subscriber. Um, and what this means is that you know they, they're going to give you a reduced subscription. Um, so instead of uh, so instead of like you know like like the ten ninety nine a month they got here, they're going to be doing it for for ten dollars uh, a month. Uh, or ninety dollars a year. So essentially, you'll be you'll be getting a little bit of a discount. You get the the, the free trial once it starts up in spring. Um, and a lot of people have already jumped onto this. Guillermo del Toro, um, a whole bunch of other film critics I know, have uh, have already jumped on as charter subscribers. And it's and it's exciting. I I, I hope this takes off because uh, you know it, you know you know Filmstruck will be great. I'm I'll I'll be happy when that comes back in the fall of 2019. Um, you know when they when they bring back some more like the Turner Classic movies onto that service, but the but the Criterion honestly I, I gotta admit the, the the Criterion I I love way more of what was in the Criterion uh, than Filmstruck, but mostly because the Criterion has a much uh, much broader range of films through there. Um, so so th th this is great news. I mean the, the the Criterion collection. I mean even with that price of ten ninety nine, which was about the price that you got for Filmstruck and the Criterion Collection. So th this might seem like a little bit of like a downgrade because now you're not going to get like the, the Turner Classic movies and like the classic Hollywood type stuff uh, coupled with with the more kind of, uh, you know, kind of like artistic stuff with like the Criterion Collection with stuff like Ozu and Kurosawa and, uh, and uh, Jacques Dati and all that. Uh, so yeah, so it, it kind of sucks that, you know, they're not going to be combined, you know, like when, when Filmstruck comes, whatever Filmstruck's going to be called when it comes back to Warner Media, you're, you're probably going to have to pay uh, $10 a month for that too. And then, you, you know, on top of that, you get the, got the Criterion Collection uh, streaming service, which is going to be independent, which is going to be like $11 a month, $10 if you're a charter subscriber. Yeah, it's going to add up to a lot. But like I said, it's important. It's, it's so important that we have these uh, films available uh, you know, in, in, in streaming form, like a lot of people say like, Oh, you, you know, you should, you should embrace physical media because you never know when streaming, uh, is going to cut out on you. I, I agree. I agree. If, if, if I had it my way, I would, you know, if, if it was cheap enough, I would say everyone go out and buy Criterion DVDs. I mean, they're, they're getting a little bit cheaper as time has gone by. Um, but, but for like, for, for, but for people who can't afford them for, you know, for like, like students and stuff like that, Filmstruck used to have like a, a little tab up there for like, you know, if you're a student here, you could maybe get a reduced price. Um, it, for, for, you know, for the generation who can't afford to go out and buy like, you know, like the, the complete Tati box set or, uh, or the, the giant box set of, of the seventh samurai, um, it's easier to recommend them. You're like, Oh, you know, go to the streaming channel and just, you know, for like 10 bucks a month, you can, you can watch all this stuff. They usually cost about, uh, you know, like 20 to 30 to 40, 50, 60, 70, however, <laughs> however expensive the uh, criterion prices them, uh, you, you, or you could just watch it here. So it's a great resource. Um, and, and at this point, you know, I'm happy that in 2019, we are going to get Filmstruck back. We are going to get the Criterion channel here. Uh, it's, it's, it's just a great time. Like, like I said, you know, when, when I was in college, I, I had a library, uh, my, my, my college library had like all the Criterion uh, collection there and I haven't had that much access. I haven't had that much ease of access since. And I, and I really hope that um, you know, that, that, that like the, the younger generation will be able to discover a lot of the great films here, uh, the same way that I discovered them in my library. Cause not everyone has access to, you know, to a, to a library filled with the Criterion collection. I mean, if you go to your own public library, you might find a few, um, but, but this is just, um, th th this, this is unparalleled. So I'm, so I'm happy. So spring 2019, we are getting the Criterion, uh, channel and then fall of 2019, we are probably going to get some version of Filmstruck back. So at this point, essentially, all of Filmstruck is saved. And I'm, uh, I'm incredibly happy about that.